dog, despite what I was led to believe. <laughs> this, this war dog is full of the joys of spring. Ears out, blinking eyes, it's absolutely fine. It's just having a lion this morning. Remember how we spoke about animals waking up and on cool, cloudy mornings, they like to have a lazy start to their day? Well, I think this warthog is just having a lazy start to his, but it does give us a really lovely opportunity to examine him. They don't often sit still for this long, do they, Brian? No. This is amazing. Well, I mean, it's amazing. It's also quite sad because it means that Gwen has moved. And I don't know how on earth we're going to find her again unless she moves to a den with the rest of the clan. Did you boot the hyena out, mister? This is an impressive warthog. He's no spring chicken. He, you can see from the sort of wear and tear on his tusks and the, the massive size of those warts, in inverted commas, on his face. Gosh, I don't think I've ever had an opportunity to examine a warthog like this. I hope he's okay. And there's not something wrong with him. No, I think he's just being lazy. <laughs> Brian thinks he's just being lazy. I think you're right, Brian. <laughs> Brian and I were just discussing how comfortable it must be to have a lion this morning. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? This is really truly impressive. So the warts on his face are not warts at all, obviously. And what distinguishes male from female is the fact that he has two sets. And also you'll never see warts this prominent on a female. And only the males really have the ones that stick out this far to the side, and that's because they're used for defense. So when they fight each other, it's a way of protecting the more sensitive areas, particularly the eyes. And they do fight when warthog rutting season comes along. This is incredible. <laughs> wow. I don't think I've ever sat this long with a warthog that isn't a, a garden warthog. And while we watch our warthog having a lazy Tuesday morning lion, Shamsan, you want to know what warthogs eat? Um, plants, mainly. So despite what the Lion King might have led you to believe, um, in terms of Pumba eating all sorts of bugs and grubs, uh, that makes up very little of their diet. Most of it is roots and shoots and leaves. That sounds like a book on grammar. Um, <coughs> roots, shoots, leaves, and occasionally tubers that they can dig up. They go down onto their hocks and they dig through. Sorry, struggling a little bit. Um, what was I going to say about warthogs? Oh, they sometimes, they are, they can be quite omnivorous. So they are herbivores, but every now and again they will chew or scavenge off carcasses. And so you could find one potentially eating meat, which is an odd thought, but uh, most of the herbivores out here will actually do that, antelope and warthog alike. He's so comfortable in his hole. 